Let's talk about it with Laura Reese, the Director of Border Security and Immigration for the Heritage Foundation. Alfonso Aguilar is the former Chief of the U.S. Office of Citizenship. So, Laura, you know, you hear what the former president had to say in his final pitch to voters when it comes to his plan to tackle this crisis. And yet last night we heard from the vice president. She says we need to stop using immigration as a wedge and come together to solve the problem. Uh, what does this tell you about these candidates and how they actually attempt to make this crisis go away? It says that these candidates couldn't be more, more uh, farther apart, uh, particularly regards to their, their policies. Uh, Kamala Harris is simply not credible when she says that she's the person to secure the border. She's in the job right now. She could do it right now, and she doesn't. Uh, Americans have lived with policies under Donald Trump as well, and we had a very secure border, and uh, we weren't dealing with the fentanyl crisis. We weren't losing American lives to these numbers, um, and so we need to get back to a secure border, immigration enforcement, enforcing the laws and the books, and some immigration integrity. Uh, meantime, Kamala Harris, Trump's opponent, sitting down with uh, former NFL player Shannon Sharp, now has a podcast called Club Shay Shay. Here's what happened. I put my record up to anybody in terms of how strongly I feel about having a secure border mm -hmm. and making sure that there is not that kind of trafficking into America. My point is we got to strengthen the border and we need to have an immigration system that is fair and humane and strong in terms of making sure that people have to earn citizenship, they have to work hard to get it. My plan includes also strengthening what we need to do in terms of you know, illegal entry in between ports of entry. Uh, Alfonso, do you have thoughts on, on how that was explained? And is this a new candidate or is this someone serving in the administration? That's kind of confusing. With it's, it's kind of amazing how he, she really reinvents herself, that she's, you know, she's willing to defend her record, where her record is a record of creating a border crisis by doing away with the common sense policies that the Trump administration put in place and that, as Laura said, achieve operational control of the border. They open the border. They, they, uh, their policies, their open border policies, encourage this massive migration, unregulated migration to our border that we have never seen in our history. And then they let in the majority of people. Uh, so for her to say that she has a great record, that she's going to be tough on immigration, and, and then she keeps talking about this bipartisan bill, that bipartisan bill would have not resolved the problem. It would have perpetuated the problem. It would allow up to 5,000 people to enter the country before they shut down the border. And when they arrive, they would still be let in and released into uh, our society. So... It doesn't resolve anything. If anything, it allows them to manage the flow of immigrants, but it would still encourage millions of people to come in, and they would they would make it in, and they would be allowed to to uh, they would be released to the general uh, population. Yeah, the idea to go to a legal port of entry, right, or fill out an application through the CBP One app, Laura. I mean, does that actually decrease the number of folks who wouldn't typically qualify for immigration status or visa status? Um, you know, based on what she thinks could actually be the solution here. I mean, would the numbers differ? No, impeach Secretary Mayorkas created that as an end run around our legal visa process. Those people who are using the CBP Mobile One app and coming through ports of entry are still inadmissible. And CBP reports those numbers as encounters because they are inadmissible. If they were coming lawfully, CBP would not be including those numbers in their data. So this is a shell game that this administration put in place to make things look better because they only respond to bad optics. And going forward after next week, we can expect all numbers to increase because there's going to be a race to the border, particularly if Donald Trump wins. A lot of illegal aliens are going to try to get into this country before he takes office in January. Uh, that is Laura Reese and Alfonso Aguilar. Thank you both. We do appreciate that.